was it Prince of Persia you went in? Yeah. Uh, was it, but, yeah. Yeah, I had to play a, uh, a princess in that one, and um, and the director is really posh. Is Andy said, uh, he said, um, now can you can you do posh? And I said, I went to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Fucking Art, <laughs> <laughs> so I can do anything. <laughs> and he went, I love it. You've got the job. <laughs> Now, in the movie, uh, great cast, great American accent, costume budget appears to be quite low. Well, I did something rather stupid because I got just a bit bored because I've been trying on costumes for ages. And I <laughs> thought, well, if I'm being totally honest, you know, on one of those days where I don't go out and I'm living on my own and no one comes around, I don't always bother to get completely dressed. Do you know what I mean? I do. do you? Yes. Do you? Yes, I do. You're right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't. I'm going to be blunt. And um, uh, I think clothes are an affectation. <laughs> so, and so I did most of the movie in my underpants, in my tighty whities And I thought, you know, this is great. And, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the vote of confidence. And, um... It is a comedy, right? Yeah. Well, it is, yeah. And, um... And, and, and when I realised I'd made a mistake was... Um, they had a screening, and people just kept coming up to me and saying, you're a very brave actor. <laughs> like this. And then I said, oh, thanks very much. But then I watched a clip of the film, and I went, oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. <laughs> I'm just a fat, pale, hairless man. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so, you know, all you fat, pale, hairless man fetishists, come and watch this movie. <laughs> <laughs> But now you live with uh, Rebel Wilson. I do. Who we, we know from Bridesmaids and Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Movies. We played brother and sister in Bridesmaids, and that's where we met, and we got along really well. And people say to us, are you brother and sister, or husband and wife, or are you the same person? <laughs> um, we, we live together, yeah. But you get complaints from neighbours. We got, we got one letter of complaint from the neighbours. We were actually really quiet, but we just had one night where we just went crazy, and I've got a piano, and we just played show tunes all night. You'll know what I mean, Jeremy, one of those nights where you just play show tunes all night. <laughs> and, um... Uh... <laughs> he's just, lunge, he's just lunging quietly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, do you know who else really likes to sing song? Yeah. Queen of karaoke, Gemma Arterton. <laughs> no, you love a bit of karaoke. Love it. Well, you did it professionally, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, well... It was one of my jobs. Is there such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Professional karaoke. Yes. yes, you should see our X Factor show, yeah. <laughs> nice. But it's... But it wasn't just... You worked in a karaoke bar, but this is the really unlikely bit. It was a rough karaoke bar. <laughs> yeah, it was a South London gangster uh, bar. And I had a, night, a couple of nights there, a week Friday and Saturday night, karaoke with Gemma and it became <laughs> please welcome to the stage Gemma yeah, and I was the hostess. but it was a bit dodgy and sometimes it'd get a bit fraught in there and occasionally I'd get threatened or something like that and there was one time a, a guy wanted to you know ten times a night I'd hear oh god I want to sing Frank Sinatra my way and I'd be like oh god say you know no no let's have something else and this guy pulled out a crowbar from his trousers and he went for me. <laughs> Anyways, I was like, Dave! Because the, um, the owner was called Honest Dave. And, um... <laughs> I wonder how he got that name. <laughs> well, so, um, he got everybody out and, you know, saved me. But he said, in the future, Jim, next time that happens, what will work is if you sing My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion, because that really chills everybody out. Does <laughs> <laughs> that work? Yeah, it used to be like a soothing balm over all the drunken gangsters. <laughs> this is what he used to say. You'd get a bit fraught and you'd go, well, Jem, Jem, do Titanic, do Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, very welcome, Vince. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks very for nice having me. No, I'd love to see you. I'd love to see you, Sarah. Thank you very much, Laura. And, uh, <laughs> now... <sighs> now, it's your own fault. Yes, it is. What do I call you? Is it just Diddy now? Just... You should call me Diddy. Just Diddy? Yes. Right. What, is it boredom? What is... <laughs> yeah, a little bit of boredom. <laughs> a little bit of boredom. Are we finished now? Is this it? Can we relax? You are just Diddy now. I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> Christian, do you have yeah. to change your bank cards every time? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some, some of them. Some of them, some but of them. not all of them. No, not, not like your boot advantage yeah. card. That <laughs> 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 because 
No, because then, because Steven Spielberg, he said your name, Vince Vaughn, sounds like a 30s movie star or something, but that, that is your real name, isn't it? Well, that is, yeah, that is my real name. But my mom named everyone with a V name. So it was me and my sisters, Victoria and Valerie. That was cool. But when the dog started getting V names like Vero and Vladimir, not so cool. <laughs> she was a little crazy with the, with the V stuff. She would look through the dictionary and find it, like Vanitas, that was the name of a chihuahua. It's a complicated situation. <laughs> There's no end to V names. No, but you haven't done that to your own baby, have you? No, I did not. No. My wife picked the name, so, uh, but it was a great name, so I'm happy. It's Lachlan? Lachlan, that's right. Lachlan. It is a lovely name. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. It is a nice name. I think I might change my name. Oh, life. no! <laughs> <laughs> it was a whole photo shoot. And I know you got the picture. We do! <laughs> this is Delia as a swimwear model. Mmm! There she Whoa. is. Wow. Now, I'm guessing that's you, yeah. is it? The beehive. Yeah. You look ah. fabulous. Whoa. Look at you. Nice. I'm hey, almost not lady. gay anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but now, so all these ladies, they worked in the travel agent. Yeah, they were just people who worked in the travel agency and, you know, they couldn't afford to do proper smart advertising, so we all got together and... But you look fa I mean, I would say, I think that lady had too many cups of coffee. <laughs> Before. She was always a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and she seems hysterical as well. She's like, I'm in my pants! <laughs> uh, here's another shot of you all. Look, you look fabulous. I know. Wow. I wish I was that slim now. But the rest <laughs> of them do look a bit like those Daily Mail women with real bodies features. <laughs> Be yeah. proud of your obesity, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I feel sorry for proud. her because look at her swimsuit is just like some that's just that's an undergarment at best. <laughs> oh, have I you stayed in touch with any of these ladies? No, it's <gasps> a, they're think... here tonight. No, they're not. <laughs> they were. Working, working in a travel agency. The travel agency was called Rent a Villa. <laughs> and yeah. Rent a model. Too. Yeah, and you got you got a, a free swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> well, now listen. Cut to forty years later. Delia, not just queen of the cooking world, but also a football mogul. Because uh, not, not just a football fan, Jeremy, she owns a football team. Oh wow! Yeah, Norwich City. Am I correct? That's right. Yes. Phew, got that right. Um, <laughs> now, don't we have some of the the ladies? Are they here tonight? Yeah, they are. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Oh. See them. Yeah, they are. Well, the lights are on now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and these are the wives and girlfriends of the footballers. Can you see how gorgeous they are? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, look at them all a bit embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Over on television. Have you, all left, have you all left your partners, male footballers, at home? Wow, they are going to be screwing other women. Maybe you know that. <laughs> they do. That's what they do. That's what they do. <laughs> That's what they do, isn't it? Don't, don't be horrible to the nice I'm people. Sorry, I'm no, sorry. no, it's getting a bit tense. It's getting a bit tense now. <laughs> a little bit tense. I think the situation needs to be diffused. Gemma, if you could. <laughs> so, sloppy duchess, uh, Wally's wand, private dancer, and I'll go with. <laughs> that voice has been to the dogs before. <laughs> Shelly Nails! <laughs> <laughs> this is our dog. All right, okay, so, it, Roger, Roger, Roger. Um, or, Orlando wants a pound on private dancer. A pound? A pound. <laughs> Samantha right. Morton wants a pound on Wally's wand. The audience yeah, want a pound. On the audience want a pound on Sloppy Duchess. And I'm putting a pound on Lady Lightning. <laughs> and a pound on Lady Lightning. Lady Lightning. Wow. <laughs> Well, what's it with these pounds? You won't get rich, Graham, having pounds on. Yeah, but I That's am right. rich. <laughs> what he meant was, we won't get rich. Oh, Orlando Bloom, you're not rich. <laughs> Hurry along. Hurry along. Have a watch on Mr. Oh, Rice. OK. Shall we put at least a tenner on him? No, it's pound, pound, pound. It's fair, <laughs> pound. Pound, pound, pound. Oh, oh, my God, here we go, here we go. Oh, my God, so here we go. You're, you're in there, Samantha. <laughs>
around and... Oh, I don't know. Look at them. It's not going to be much. Split between four and big people. <laughs> Wally's won. Didn't have a very good race. Uh, <laughs> you, you're not very lucky. Let, let's see. So, so Wally's won at number four. <laughs> in behind, private dancer there. Oh! <laughs> but, no, I saw him again. I did see him... Where is he? There he is! He's fine! Yeah. Well done, Stop Very good. Yeah. So who is it? Who's it? You won't ever leave the house, trust me. Oh, okay. La now, lady here, lady here, uh, what's your name? Terry. Terry. Uh, so, so, thinking of having it done or had it done, don't say anything. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Thinking of had it done or had it done? I can't think. I can't take my eyes off for tips. <laughs> <laughs> so you think, are they new friends or old friends? I'd have to cup a feel before I gave them. <laughs> feel free. Have a poke. Feel free. <laughs> What's they're, good? they're very good. Very good. I'd say a... they're reasonably new. Are they real? Naturally, I was a double G. Then had them reduced, then had them filled back up, and now I'm having them reduced again in about. Oh, minute. see, I knew I felt something funky. Uh, Hold on. <laughs> and, you, and you gave me that look like. <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, let's go over this again. So, what? So, you had big tits. Massive. You didn't yeah. like them. No. You got rid of them. Yeah. Then you missed them. Yeah. You got them back in. Yeah. And now you're getting them taken out again. Yeah. Okay, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, right, they're perfect for you now. They fit your body yeah, they now. Look very yeah, good. Good. Let's stand up. Let's see, are they in proportion? Are they in proportion? <laughs> yeah, but you're not falling over, so. I've I've got big feet. And you've got big feet. <laughs> so I don't fall over. Yeah. No, that, they, they, they look in proportion, don't they? Yeah, she looks very good. You look very good. good. The next time you're in, uh, under the knife, what else might you have done, Terry? Um, I'd like. I've got a list. Okay, let's okay. go. Face. Face. What bit? Here. I want that pulling tight. Okay, now I've got one of those plastic surgery things. Let's just do. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what else? Obviously the boobs. Boobs. So they're small. Oh, don't touch those titties. <laughs> so they're smaller. That's exactly like that. where they are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably you want your nose done as well, no? Yeah, they Yeah, okay. Hang on, hang on. Maybe here. I would as well. And hang on, hang on, hang on. And I think we need you need you need no, you need Cherokee cheek implants. There you go, like that. And then we'll do your lips as well. And no, so no, so what should I be Terry? Terry, honestly, don't No, don't no, honestly. Don't worry, everyone. <laughs> it will come off. I bought a special indelible pen. <laughs> and that comes off quickly. Actually, what we've done is... Um, uh, can, have we done it? Yes? Apparently, the picture, the picture, the, the camera has captured your face now, and we put you through a computer, and uh, <laughs> if a, a highly trained doctor did all the procedures, uh, this is what you'd look like. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good Looking good. <laughs> Looking good. Oh, that uh, doctor's good. Oh. <laughs> but are women stupid to get all the work done? No, it's a society that they like women to be beautiful. You know that. No man ever put his hand up your dress looking for a library card. Intelligence doesn't matter. <laughs> it's all about looks. Yes, of course you want to feel better about yourself. Because you were talking about Anna Nicole Smith earlier. Oh. Well, look how smart now, she was. Is she the smartest woman you ever know? Oh, the smartest <laughs> Heather McCartney. Oh, to get oh to get him not to sign a prenup, she must have a trick pelvis like we don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> how, and everyone is so mad at her now. She's going on Dancing with the Stars with one leg. Oh, this is like Strictly Come Dancing in the States is Dancing with the Stars, and she's going come on. It's dancing. true. They better not ask her to do the hokey pokey. I mean, that's what she's. <laughs> Put in. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be very tough because I lived with a man with one leg for nine years. So is this true? Yes. Really? You you went out with a guy with one leg? Live with him for nine years. Great in bed, more room. It is <laughs> <laughs> great in bed. Great in bed. The Chia. And that's why I look at her now, and I think that's great that she's going to do it. But she's doing it to make everyone like her now.
Well, and also, did you see the thing in the paper where apparently she's going to she's going to play Mary Poppins on Broadway? <laughs> no, I'm not. This was seriously. This was in the paper. Uh, she was going to play Mary Poppins on Broadway. Yeah, and uh, not only will she play Mary Poppins, uh, but with the correct attachment, uh, she can use her right leg to clean the chimney. Yeah. <laughs> In one famous scene, Mary Poppins takes uh, item after item from a seemingly bottomless bag and then fills it up with Paul's money. <laughs> uh, now, according to an official press release, an official press release, uh, Heather will perform special versions of the songs, including the show-stopping Super Hag Makes Paul Ballistic, Isn't She Atrocious? Ah. <laughs> and, and everyone... Wait, there's a better one. And, Everyone's favorite, a spoonful of sugar helps the old man's semen go down. <laughs> Either that or pineapple juice. Now, <laughs> do you know how many calories there are in, sp in semen? No. There are 450 calories per swallow. <laughs> Every woman, remember that if you're counting calories. Well, don't tell them that. Well... <laughs> Nobody's gonna Sweet swallow. You've ruined my life. In Weight Watchers, how many points? <laughs> 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 The universe. You we did. We, we, yes. We got a little backbeat. We, we entertain, <laughs> we educate, we are one BBC. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the album uh, is called The Incredible Machine. Yes. And that be in shops now. Yes. Well, you could even yeah. download it, Sigourney. Okay. You can. Yeah. I'm going to do that. And uh, did that make you hanker after your, your pop music past, Brian? Yeah. Because he was a pop star. I read the bio. Oh, really? oh yeah, we, we read yeah. about you. Yeah. You had two bands, right? Yeah, yeah, one band, um, we had a band called Thin Lizzy, it was a real rock band, and then the second band that was more kind of yeah. dance stuff. Yeah, Thin Lizzy, Thin Lizzy fan. Woo! You had a face? <laughs> you were in yeah. Thin Lizzy? No, a band that grew out, it, the keyboard uh, player from Thin Lizzy formed, it's not that oh, grand. It's like a, I, yeah, I'm I'm not old enough to have been in Thin Lizzy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, obviously, D. Ream was the big one. The big oh, one there, oh, look at that. Now, that's, weirdly... That's me on the Ooh, uh, yeah, yeah. right of the picture, oh, yeah, yes, the looking hair. rather... With uh, Dickie Attenborough, Lord, Lord Attenborough yes. there. Wow. That's me, yeah. Um, wow, you were really enjoying the pop star lifestyle there, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it really opened it up. They were the first to get equal pay in the workplace and it set up the whole Equal Pay for Equal Work Act, which was already instrumental in America at the time, but not in the UK. So um, if a man's doing the same job as a woman, they should be getting equal pay. So that's what these women did. And so and it was you, huge. And have you been back to Essex? Or have you met the women? Are they around? The women are actually here tonight. Oh, oh. Come and wave your the hands, ladies. There they wow. are. Oh. So, is it Gwen, Eileen, Vera? Yes. Yeah. And presumably you saw the movie. Have you seen any of the workshops of the musical yet? Yes. A part yes. of it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen doesn't seem that keen. I, <laughs> I saw a bit of it, yeah. Bit. <laughs> Not sure I said that the whole thing. <laughs> 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 but did you like the musical? Say yes, say yes. You're on television, oh, say yes. yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, good. <laughs> Yeah, free tickets and taxi home. <laughs> <laughs> but so at the time, did you? I mean, was there a big fuss? Were you in the papers? And did it seem like a big deal at the time? When it first started. at the time, yeah. But after it was all over, it was all forgotten. So that was a total surprise when the movie came out. Well, <laughs> <laughs> movie. What movie? <laughs> It's a musical! <laughs> We've seen a bit of it. <laughs> and, 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 and do you stay in touch because of the movie and things? Is that what brought you back together again? Or have you been friends all these years? All the time. All the time. Oh, oh that's sweet! That's fantastic! They just got, you've got so really nice to see you. Thank you for coming. We go on holiday together. Oh, really? Fantastic! Gemma's just saying you go on holiday together. Yes. <laughs> the all your extra pay. <laughs> <laughs> A holiday fund, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 All right, all right, all right. We're here.
here for a while. Pace yourselves. I don't know how to sit on this couch. It's, it's like a hot dog bun. <laughs> Your lovely filling. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. It's My fantastic. Pleasure. And as you can tell, a lot of excitement in the room. <laughs> now, the thing that struck me, kind of thinking about you, is obviously you can remember, you know, when you weren't Madonna. No. <laughs> you know what I mean. The yeah. persona of Madonna. Can you remember what that felt like to not be the focus of every room you walk into and all that sort of stuff? Mm-hmm. I do, and I, I really enjoy when I'm in environments where I feel anonymous. But when does that happen? Well, um, well when I went, just was uh, on my skiing holiday, actually, because I was wearing um, a mask completely covering my face and goggles, and so I could ride the ski lift and nobody knew it was me. So other people watching so this now... So everybody was, like, just cutting in front of me in the lines and <laughs> stabbing me with their ski pole. <laughs> That's our lives. <laughs> It was a holiday for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to talk. Also, I have to tell you, it's when I'm at home with my children, they don't give an F who I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I get, I hear all the complaints and all the moaning, and I still have to threaten to kill them if they don't do their homework. <laughs> but no, the good thing is, you know, in terms of learning how to work the camera, uh, this is very good. A man called Jerry. Jerry for the Philippines, and honestly, I, I know no more about this man. He's Jerry for the Philippines, and he's posted online a masterclass in how to... Have you seen this? No, but I love things like this. It's how to, how to work a look to the camera, OK? So he does, he does a, a selection of looks to the camera. So, David, watch Take this notes. and learn. OK, here's Jerry's first one. So it's just Jerry settling in front of the camera. What look is he going to do? Smile. Uh, this uh, is an actor. He's drinking. Okay. He's shocked. He's shocked. He's shocked. How's he going to finish this one off with? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, it's a nice action scene. He's chatting away, chatting away, chatting away. It's almost an argument. He notices the camera and. See, camera five. Camera five. So I'm talking to you, talking to you. David, hey, David, hey, David, hey. Oh, my God, what's that? <laughs> oh, natural. Very good. Oh. Very nice to see you all. Very How are good. you? I'm really well. Are you all well? Very good. I yeah. feel really good, because I have a security blanket <gasps> right here. You're funny, but she's really funny. No, she's really funny. <laughs> God, you're setting me up. And look at you all fashioned up. I'm wearing fashion tights. Yeah. No, they are fashion tights. I've They're... been needing to get my thighs out lately. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. Yeah, Michael's in there. Yeah. I love your tights. Mm. <laughs> mm. This started backstage. <laughs> oh, get it? Oh. Do you cut your own hair? What, what the patches? What's going on with this? Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> it's, uh, from, um... Oh, no, do you, do you have, have a thing? Of, do you have, have you heard of <laughs> trepanning? No. It's where Are you drill, you drill little holes in your head to release pressure. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, yeah. so there. That's what you have? Yeah, it's a new thing. Is I was that trying true? it out, it didn't work. Is that just your pick-up? <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Seriously, I feel like we're on a plane. People are just... <laughs> just different conversations are coming up. Why would like, you? Have you had your meal? Uh, I don't... Why you, would you? What are you watching? Why would you allow <laughs> people to drink alcohol and come on a show <laughs> in the evening? <laughs> What, what, what's because going on here? that's social. That's a social I thing. I don't drink. No, it's a recipe for no. disaster. No. But I, I said, take please, acid nobody about let me 40 have minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> that's vodka, by the way. Nick. In the office, I can't remember what it is. Edward Woodward. The original word? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. So there is a joke, and the punchline is... Is Edward Woodward? Wood. Oh, without the letters? Is, yes. What is Edward... How do you... What is it? Edward? How do you say Edward Woodward without, without the wood. D? Oh, oh. No, that, no, that's not a joke, though. Iwa wuwa is Iwa the answer. Without, how do you... Say it without the Ds. Right? Is, it, is it why does he need so many Ds in his name? Right. Is that the joke? Something like that. Iwa... There's also no. something about farting in a bath. Someone Iwa. must know in the audience. Oh, oh there you have it. <laughs> well, because he's useless. I, I told you. Yes, I told don't you. Don't him, right? Wait, no, no. Useless. Is it, is it not a who would Edward Woodward would? <laughs> oh, there is another one. Yes, 
that's another, that's that's another joke. It's a kind of rather racy situation right. that is posited. Now, do you have Who this would... in England? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yeah. He'd chuck how much wood as a woodchuck could if a woodchuck could chuck wood, but he can't? <laughs> things in America. I'm so impressed. You no, do you say that? No, you, no, you, you don't have that. You've got a long day of press. <laughs> oh my God. I'm amazed that you can string any words together at all. Okay. <laughs> uh, we've got a clip. We've got a clip from the Equalizer. By the way, the Equalizer uh, is open tonight. It's open nationwide tonight. Uh, this is uh, basically you showing off some of your special skills. This is a, uh, you know, a don't mess with Denzel. Uh-oh. Is it just you or are we waiting for someone else? I'm sorry, what? Your hands. If you really work the power lines down there, your hands wouldn't look like that. I know we gotta be waiting for somebody else. <laughs> Here's where I can see him. We take a little walk across the street, me and you. Black Denali. Here we go. Be very clear these instructions and I'm gonna kill you, you understand? Stand up. <laughs> Let's go. No witnesses. What the hell is this guy doing? Go. And I actually read the book. <laughs> no, you know we had we had like Navy SEAL guys, uh, expert killers, and we were using everything, books, and you know like. Powerful. So are these real things, like the Navy SEALs training? Yeah, they always showed me what to do with a book and how to... <laughs> that looks impressive. He <laughs> 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 flapped yeah. me to death! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Wait, listen, Gemma Arthur, beside you, right, we've seen you, you know, in films, being kick-ass and doing stuff, but in life, you're quite, you're quite, well, I was going to say rough, but not in that way. <laughs> 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 Like, the horse riding thing sounds amazing. Yeah. So tell us what you can do on the horse. I can do trick riding and stunt riding. How long did this take, by the way? Um, so I learned to ride um, in... I did sort of like a month's training, and then I got a bit obsessed with it and started, you know, um, doing trick riding. So I guess within, like, a couple of months. So, Prince of Persia, you do all that horse riding yourself? Yeah, there was a, a riding double as well for really dangerous stuff, but I did do a big stunt, um, which I'm really proud of. Tell us about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a bit where um, a horse, a massive big old black horse is galloping towards me and I pull myself onto the horse whilst it's in gallop from standing. Um, so, basically, you hold onto the horse's reins and you, while it's galloping, jump up onto it and then gallop off and um, I trained for it for a long time you know for days and days and days and days and weeks and then when it came down to it, it was this big Disney movie so it's very expensive and um, I said you know I can do that stunt I've, I've practiced it to the producers uh -oh. and they went no way you're not doing it it's too dangerous and I was like <gasps> I've been practicing for weeks <laughs> <laughs> and they were like for God's sake all right she can do it and I did and it's in the movie and Obviously, everyone thinks it's the stunt double, usually, unless you do something like this. Gallop, gallop. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, there you go. Because, Denzel, you are now going to be doing this. A Western. Yeah. Are you learning to ride now? Uh, October 1st, I start. <gasps> Five or six months of riding. Wow, you're going to be great. It's such a great opportunity. Well, I got to wait. Let me... I'll come and help you. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the best <laughs> the, the Magnificent Seven. <laughs> We're, we're going to look for that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I may not credit. make a film. You get the credit, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, someone told me, too, in the old days, they would put little trampolines for guys, like in the westerns, and they'd bounce off of it and jump right up on the horse to make it look like they... Oh, oh. so that's why they just Yeah, it. That, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So you'll see that as well. <laughs> 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 she steps right in my pee pajamas, and she, and this is what. Can you imagine? You sit this? there. <laughs> this is a nice lady. Oh, this is so inappropriate. Oh. <laughs> 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 
mouth with that. That's wrong. Well, don't don't touch the man uh, there. I was I was looking for this. <laughs> you hid it for me, and I. I sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. Take yourself down. Take yourself down. Sorry. I apologize. Wow. Hey, if you want this, then. What Why, is my you're gonna go. No, you don't. You don't need it. It was just over there. You could <laughs> throw it under the sofa if you want. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. No, if there you, you go. <laughs> go. So we're getting to the end of this bloody story. So the, the so the woman. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, um, yeah, we should. We should. She stepped in it in my in. Yes. Could you imagine yeah. being a mother and doing this? She goes, yeah. who did this? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like paralyzed Coming with fear. <laughs> Can I finish this? <laughs> 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 I'm exhausted. <laughs> and essentially, you get most grip and take the corners faster. Oh, it's one of those trip and fell and land in each other's. No, we crash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, close, we close, just... but it's not. No, no, actually, just... that's a happy tale. Look, you ruined the peeing story. Now you're going to ruin <laughs> the <laughs> golf course. <story. laughs> I apologize. I, I nap for six or seven minutes and then I woke up. Your timing is atrocious. Oh. <laughs> so tell me how you so, and so you're on the Michael, golf course. Tell how you're you and James spirit. McAvoy intertwined. Well, <laughs> through his through his creative driving, essentially, we pulled into. into he the, was the driver. He was the driver. I was counterbalancing at the back. In the back. As I said already, if you were listening, Mark. <laughs> Um, you. So anyway, you uh, got driven. So yeah, anyway, we, we went flying into the base camp, and the wheels dug in a little bit too much, so we took oh. a sort of swerve to the left and crashed into the back of a Lexus. And oh. he went and he went flying out of the car, which was fine, but I oh. went flying over the back and ended up where he was sitting. So I got the blame for everything. <laughs> but they well, then, right. Twins. Twins were born uh, there on, on the sidewalk. That was a separate incident. Oh. That was a separate incident. I don't know what chateau that red wine came from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. My God! Oh. They, oh. They, 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 they. I show you. I can do. Uh, I normally only do this when I'm when I'm what uh, what the uh, people in show business call tired and emotional, and um, and the press insist on calling pissed. But um, <laughs> uh, I can do an impersonation of bacon. Oh, please do. Yeah. Do, do I need to get out of the way? No, it's fine. Because, uh, because I'm Danish, I, um, in fact, if you took my clothes off, I have it written in blue up one side of my body. And, um, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be streaky bacon, if that's OK. Because, okay. well, for back bacon, you need much bigger hips. I think you need, a, you need a bigger hip for it. So I will lie down like this. So you just imagine that I am now, I'm on the pan, and the heat has just started. OK, so just to... <laughs> <laughs> Can I just contribute the one fact that those little tiny pants were from Marks and Sparks? Oh! And I don't know that they still make them. In fact, I rather doubt they don't. Well, they will now. <laughs> There'll be some people in a warehouse right. tomorrow night just going... <laughs> <laughs> on the shelves! Because <laughs> uh, we seem kind of a very diverse sofa, but there are more similarities than you'd think, because both Matthew and Diane, you grew up not just in kind of, you know, rural areas, but like, really remote. Like, you didn't even have neighbours, did you, Matthew? Uh, I mean, you know, that's relative. I mean, yeah, I mean... I, well, if you kept were, going, there'd be somebody... If you kept going. <laughs> no, I mean, it was, it's very, very remote. And uh, I loved it. I loved growing up there. Northwestern part of Wyoming, the Wind River Valley, um, it was called Crowheart. Crowheart. Did it really have a sign outside saying population 13? It really did. 13? 13. 13. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah. What happened if someone died? Did they just go, uh, they didn't. I don't, think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they bothered anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It did. It did. It's and sweet I... that you would bother to put up the sign for 13 people. Yeah. Kind yeah. of. But did you run wild as a kid? We did a lot of crazy stuff, yeah. I have two brothers. I'm, I'm the middle of three three boys, and um, you know, we were really 
that, that's who we hung out with. We didn't have friends over and stuff like that or go to somebody else's house. So. How do you run crazy, though, with 13 uh, no, people? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you terrorize your detent. <laughs> you, you do some crazy stuff there growing up. I mean... But didn't you blow things up? Yeah, we were really into fire. And... <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, I grew up on a ranch, and some of the tools of the trade are, I mean, dynamite was always on the place, because in the winter, the, the stream that ran through our place would get, would freeze over, and uh, my dad was always having to blow that with dynamite, so we, we, there was always dynamite on the place. <laughs> no, no, I love that idea, like, didn't me dad have to blow the stream with dynamite? You know, like, like it's, it's like my dad saying, if you've got to plunge it, the sink's blocked again. <laughs> oh, let's just blow it up. <laughs> Because obviously you couldn't be that remote in Germany, but it was very rural, and it sounds... was 2,000 people. That sounds like a big town now. But but it sounds like you were living in the kind of the 19th century. No, 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 no. But weren't you? No, it sounds very. We didn't have a bar. We did not have a bar, so that's. But weren't you small. a professional mourner? <laughs> I was. Well, I grew up. No, hello. Catholic. That sounds like the 19th <laughs> century. I know. I was, I, I grew up very Catholic, and to make money uh, for two years from 10 to 12. Um, I guess during service, uh, I specialized in funerals. Um, I would stand in front of the coffin with a candle. And seriously, so I would, you know, the priest would do service, and I got really, really depressed after two years. You can just imagine. It's like, really? Joe is the best guy that's ever been <laughs> again. It's like the same service over and over and over. And you really learn about mourning. You go, nah, she's not really sad. Her husband's dead. <laughs> oh, I don't know. And were you squeezing out tears for extra money? Oh, no, I was stone-faced. I do mourning now really well. Yep. I do. I mean, it's, I think I became an actress because of my mourning experience. Was it better if they had a, a funny death? The what? It a, a funny death. A like, phony I don't, death? No, a funny one. <laughs> That's funny. Does anybody understand what he's saying? Yes, everybody. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's amazing. She actually thinks, she thinks I'm Hungarian. <laughs> no, is it kind of every second word or none of it? Every it's, second. It's about word. every third or fourth. <laughs> <laughs> this could be quite a long show. <laughs> We were talking backstage to Matthew about coming to Liverpool, and it's, it's one of those things that, you know, if you, if you have an accent, you probably don't realise because you lived... It might be the same in Germany, but geographically, it can't be in America. We have different accents mm -hmm. very, very close to each other. They're all over England, isn't it? All yeah. over Britain, it's very, very different accents, mainly because if people speak different than you, it gives you a reason to hate them. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could you do an English accent? <laughs> Could I do an English accent? <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine you were from England. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a German with an American accent. That just puts it in your place. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> I, I could try and speak with an English accent, yes, and I think if I really put some effort into it and really open my mouth, the problem is <laughs> my it mouth... like Prince Charles. I know, well, my <laughs> mouth is unfortunately filled with massive teeth and a huge tongue. <laughs> which makes it difficult to vocalise in the way that other people with small teeth do. <laughs> Talking about your teeth, is the, thing, is the thing about your brother true or is that a joke? No, no, honest to God, uh, I, 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 my brother punched me and knocked me front tooth out and so he, and, and he picked it up, he picked it up and thought I love that and he put it underneath his pillow so the tooth fairy would come to him. <laughs> That's honest to God too and he thought it was a money making scam. <laughs> So, and the problem with that is because my me, me teeth came out early, my front teeth came out because of this constant... He thought my head was his piggy bank. <laughs> my big teeth came early. And so these teeth, which are quite... Uh, in an American way, they're not, but in England, they're... they're, they're, they're you know, they're, <laughs> I, well, my, I've had these since I was seven. My head... <laughs> my head has had to grow around my teeth, so... <laughs> My childhood school photographs look like an appeal picture. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>